Alfonso is only the latest evidence that the Jamaica Paralympic Association is living up to its mandate. I've become accustomed in the last couple of days to doing this because a team of persons have dedicated themselves to ensuring that a proper welcome is extended to the national heroes we have before us. We have participated in a wonderful Paralympic Games, a Games that has been acknowledged as a turning point for the Paralympic movement in terms of what it has achieved and the respect that it has gained throughout the world. And London saw the embodiment of that spirit in Alfonso, Silvio and Tanto. They all have become with each championship champions, not only of the physical science and art of sport, but of the character and ideas of it. Because I don't think most of us as Jamaicans recognize how difficult a task it is to be seated and to develop a proper technique to be able to throw a javelin from a chair. London and other Paralympics games have taught us that it takes order, commitment and belief in yourself to be a champion and to deliver world, regional and personal record. Fancy, you of course won the gold medal and we must put you on a pedestal, right? And certainly we congratulate you, wonderful achievement. But we achieve everybody on the team, the other athletes, the coaches, the, the chef de mission, and all of them, and the president, who can't leave them out. We pledge more inspiring performances on the international stage, not only in javelin and discus, but in powerlifting, archery, pistol shooting, wheelchair racing, wheelchair fencing, wheelchair basketball, and of course the springs, 100, 200, 400 meters. Those glory events for which we are celebrating. 